Okay, we got a question for our American mamas. Dear mamas, why play for your country if you hate your country? Oh, well, let's ask our American mamas. Mama, mama. She told me not to come. She said that ain't the way I find no. And joining us now are American mamas, Terry Nettaville and Denise Arthur. Uh, in the last couple of weeks have been two big instances of it uh, the women's hammer throw olympic team they got first second and third for the olympic trials and uh, they're going to go to the olympics now in in japan and gwen berry whose name i had no idea but and who was all of third this, by the way third came, right. third right yeah. exactly she came in third and she t- she turned her back on the flag mm. and then this weekend the women's national soccer team played against mexico in a friendly uh, a warm up for the olympics and that one, I looked at the video. There were most of the team, I would say, turned toward the flag at the end of the stadium and they held their hands over their heart uh, as a 98 year old World War II veteran played the national anthem on a harmonica, yes. which was a unique way. I'd Incredible. never seen right. that. Yeah. Uh, but there were about four mm. on the team that stood with their arms by their side, not facing the flag at the end of the stadium. U.S. Soccer says, "Oh, they yeah, they're were, debunking the whole incident." Yeah, they're they're saying they fa- they were facing a flag, but yeah. there were a but lot we, of people but, there and saying we there was no the, flag. The, they would they never did pan out big. Yeah, but that's what they're saying. They're saying that the ones that were turned were facing the flags. The other one were facing Mr. D. Prang, and Why then afterwards they all thanked him. Yes, and then the Dunn girl, she did. I mean, she made a statement and she said, "Look, we're." I mean, th- she literally. This is what she said. I think that um, those collectively kneeling felt like they were kneeling to bring about attention to police brutality and systemic racism this is crystal dunn that's what she said back in february we decided that moving forward we no longer feel the need to kneel because we are doing work behind the scenes we are combating systemic racism we never felt we were going to kneel forever so there was always going to be a time that we felt um it would be time to stand and so that's what crystal dunn is saying and she is in fact one of the girls that was accused of turning. Mm-hmm. So, but one of the girls was turned and didn't have her hand over her heart. I mean, now, so I really don't know. Now I need to see the whole thing. I'm just, I'm not sure, but it wouldn't matter because then we, we still got the Barry girl with the, with her shirt over her head, who was probably pouting because she got third place and then stole, of course, all the glory from the first place. Who set a it's, U.S. Uh, a, a record, right. Record. It's, yeah. it's a, it's, you're disrespecting you're, not only did I feel like it was disrespectful to the man, to the veteran who was playing the harmonica, stand very clearly towards the flag. Find out where it is ahead of time so that you don't have all of this. Do you want to know why I feel like they are debunking it now? Because now we're at a point where people, there is so much backlash. There are so many more patriots than not. There are so many American lovers than not. There are so many more uh, people who are standing up for what's right than not that they're saying, look, You have girls on there that are not going to respect our flag. We're not coming to the games. We're not paying for your stuff. We're not going to give y'all any sponsorship. We're done with this stuff. We're done with it. So it will behoove them to stand there and respect the American flag. If you're going to represent this country, freaking respect it by standing up. Put your hand over your heart to that flag. You know, Megan McCain was talking about a story. Her dad used to tell her every Christmas where he was bunking with or he was in Yeah, that the prison. Mike Christian guy. Yes. And he sewed with some fabrics that he found in the prison camp an American flag. And he would open his coat so that the Americans could say the Pledge of Allegiance whenever they were, um, whenever he held it open. And then they, the guards found out they beat him to a pulp. And the first thing he did when he was able to see again was he re-sewed something for right. them. To, these are men, this is the men and women who have Especially fought. the man that was sitting there playing the harmonica. If you, yes. if you disrespected the flag, yes. uh, like that's like your great, great grandfather to those girls who could disrespect right. that? Right. Who in the world? But you know what? It looks sports has become such a joke, Terry. But it amazes me at all these people that are like, "Oh my God, give me a break! Yes. Give me a break!" You yes. can, you know, some people are saying, "Oh, well, you can't compete." Uh, if you've been smoking pot, but you know, if you got a male part and you're in a girls' competition, that's okay. You know, I mean, it used to be this that is the United States of America Olympics. And you're this representing is a team. Them. This is one of the things that I loved about watching the Olympics growing up were the stories. Were the stories of each athlete. They would. I mean, don't you remember the music would swell with their stories because it was all about. 
working hard towards a goal to represent our United States of America. That was the whole premise of why they worked so hard and why the parents would drive hours to, to whatever they needed to go to get better and better and better. Now it's become political. We just want to enjoy. We want to enjoy our countrymen and women who are like the top of their game. They're the pros in their sport. We want to enjoy it. We don't want any more political talk. We don't want to talk about race. That's right. We don't want to talk about politics. We want to cheer on our Americans who are taking on other countries in their sport, let us make do up your that. mind. If you want to play for the USA, yes. play. Yeah, Miss Barry, go back and look at your photo from 2016 when yes. you were holding up that American flag. What happened between now and then? Please do let us know. Trump, that's Thanks. it. By the way, if you do want to root for first place in the hammer throw, that's Deanna Price. Yes. You remember her name? Yes. She set Good a point, uh, U.S. Steven. record, and we will root for her as she goes Amen. to the Olympics. Terry Netterville, Denise Arthur, thank y'all so much. Thank you.